Everything on the first floor was completely destroyed. My house was four blocks from the levee. Houses were still in the streets. And we found out that our house had been completely destroyed. The aim of this workshop is to give them some solutions about something that they can actually do about this. When I went in, it was basically just fragments of what used to be my entire life. My name is... My name is... My name is... My name is... My name is Katharina McGarry, and I am from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I've lived there all my life. We brought the students together. This is the first time they've all been together. We went out into the Mobile Delta on two pontoon boats and they learned a lot about the, just the Delta region. And so it was a really great experience to get the students out on the water and to see this local area. What happened? So let's take... Well, I have to tell you, this group, uh, I, was, I was very pleasantly surprised because they were actually engaged on a lot of issues. Of course, all we do is open up the end, untie it. Each of them picks a species that they found evidence is going to be vulnerable to climate change. They were to write lit reviews about these species and the issues of vulnerability that they found so that then we can incorporate that into a vulnerability assessment of the southeastern region and the freshwater habitat. And this one back over here is monitoring well one. The electrical circuit is going to be made and we'll pick up that beat. It's not just one thing that makes a hurricane get stronger or that makes the world get hotter. It's a bunch of different things that all add up together. The beaches are eroding. So we want to preserve them so that the sea turtles can lay their eggs and so these little mice on the beach can have something to eat. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> Capitol Hill to speak to different congressmen and senators from our districts um, in the southeast region. On Capitol Hill, these students are going to talk about their experience with Hurricane Katrina and elaborate on how that is an example of the vulnerability that the U.S. has to climate change. One of the worst disasters in history has made me want to do something and something needs to be done. So when should we change? We should have changed yesterday. So we all should be agents of change in this era. We should be an era where we are known for looking disaster right in the eyes and adapting to it and fixing the problems that we face. And now you, you are the green generation. And you are saying we must ensure that we put in place the measures uh, which protect against climate change. These students have been affected by Hurricane Katrina. I mean, it has uprooted them literally from their homes. And so they're looking at solutions now, how, how to mitigate climate change, how to reduce those greenhouse gases. And so that's really the hope here is to, is to give them a better appreciation for adapting for the future. And my was nice she reached the PowerPoint. Yay, girl! <laughs> I am getting a 
sense of how much is really going on in the world and what I can be doing and how I can be helping. The most important things that young people in this program can take away are the ideas that they can put their concern for the environment, the interests, the skills, the knowledge that they develop through this program. That's something that they'll take with them into whichever field uh, they choose as their own. I love New Orleans and it's so sad to know that one day New Orleans may not be here and I don't want that to happen. I want Louisiana to be here, I want Florida to be here and it's really important that we try to fix what we're doing wrong. We've all created climate change and what's occurring now. All of these students are, have, are coming in and they're excited about what they can bring to the table. That's what they, they really want, is they want to, to feel like they can do something to make a difference. And the fact is that they can.